summer in the forest was sunny and warm. Every day, Fennec Fox ran around and played with his friends. But soon the sun began to hide behind the clouds more often. Leaves and grass faded from green to yellow. Autumn arrived in the forest. It became colder. Strong winds started to blow. The rains began. One cold day, Fennec Fox was walking through the woods. It was quiet. All the animals were preparing for winter. Suddenly, a drop fell on Fennec Fox's nose, then another one, and another as it began to rain. I better take shelter from the rain as to not get wet and catch a cold. My tail is wet. I'd better find another place. Oh, there's a puddle. My feet are wet. I'd better find another place. The rain has found me again. It's better for me to find another place. Alas, Fennec Fox wasn't able to hide from the rain. By the time it stopped, Fennec Fox didn't have a dry hair on his head and was quite cold. Suddenly, Hedgehog came out into the path. Hi, Hedgehog. What are you doing? Hi, Fennec Fox. <laughs> I'm looking for dry leaves to keep my burrow warm for winter. Hey, Hedgehog, would you play with me? I just feel very cold and want to warm up. Oh, Fennec Fox, I'd love to, but I still have to store my food. I hear that winter will be very cold this year. And Hedgehog walked on shuffling leaves along his way. And what about me? How am I going to make it through winter? I have nowhere to live. What should I do? Build a house. That's right. You can wait out winter in a house. But how Fly south? But I have no wings. And with this idea, Fennec Fox ran to look for his friends. The first friend Fennec Fox ran into was Beetle. Hi, Fennec Fox. Why so sad? Hi, Beetle. Winter is coming, but I have no house to wait it out in. Do you know how to build one? Sure I do. You can build a house with rocks. Pile them up and you'll have a very good shelter to protect you from rain and snow. Thank you, Beetle. I'll go look for rocks. Look, Fennec Fox, there's a pile of rocks right there. Try to put them on top of each other. <laughs> this rock is pretty big. Let's leave it for the roof. Let's add some more rocks. Good. Good. Let's add some more. Still have to add the roof. <laughs> Fennec Fox, you're a real builder indeed. Come on, let's check it out. Get in first. Fennec Fox tried to go inside the house, but found out that he couldn't fit. Hmm. Let's try another way. Oh no, my house fell to pieces. Oh, Fennec Fox, the house turned out to be too small for you. It seems that I couldn't help you. It's okay, but I've learned that foxes can't live under rocks. You know, there's a beaver who lives by the river. Beavers are well-known builders. Why don't you ask him for advice? Thank you, Beetle. I'll go and find Beaver. Fennec Fox went on his way, out on the riverbank, to near the beaver's dam. I don't see anyone around. Where could beaver be? Hmm. 
Hmm, who's there? Hi, Beaver. It's me, Fennec Fox. Hi, Fennec Fox. Are you looking for me? Yes, I am. I want to build a house to wait out the winter. And I wanted to ask for your advice, because you're a well-known builder. Yes, yes, it's true. I can help you. First, you need to clear some space. Good, but there's still too many sticks. Excellent! Now gather sticks and twigs and use them to build the lodge on the bank. Hmm, hmm, gather some more. Let's add more sticks. Well done, great job. Get in the lodge and you'll see how warm it is inside. But Beaver, the entrance is underwater and I can't swim. Oh, I didn't think about that. I've never made doors on dry land. Sorry, Fennec Fox. Well, it seems they have to build another house. Since foxes can't live in beaver lodges. Fennec Fox walked onward through the woods. All of his attempts to build a house had failed, and this made him very sad. Suddenly, he heard some cheerful chirping. Fennec Fox stopped and looked up. Hi, Fennec Fox. Have you seen any rowan bushes nearby by chance? The rowan is very tasty this year. Hello, Bird. Unfortunately, I haven't. Bird, will you please tell me where you will live during winter? I've made a nest in the branches of a large oak. And you? I still have no home to wait out the winter in, and I'm looking for someone who will help me to build one. Can you give me some advice? Sure, Finnick Fox. I'll show you how to build a nest. You need to find some good sticks. Find and fasten them together. Add some more sticks here. The nest is almost ready. To keep you warmer in the winter, gather dry leaves and put them between the gaps in the sticks. Let's add some more leaves. We've built a real nest. Finnick Fox, you can move in. I'll go to look for some rowan. Bye! Thank you, bird. Have a nice day. It's time to move into my nest. Ah, oh, in here it's so cozy and warm. Yeah, this is what I needed. Let's sleep for a while. Building houses all day was hard work. But as soon as Fennec Fox curled up, the branch under the nest cracked and broke. Oh no, I'm homeless again. Foxes can't live in nests either. And yet again, Fennec Fox walked through the woods, trying to find someone who would help him build a house. All of a sudden, he saw unfamiliar tracks on one of the forest paths. Hmm. I've never seen such tracks before. Whose could they be? It seems like these tracks were left by someone else. Bird has left tracks while looking for Rowan. It seems like these tracks were left by someone else. Ah, it's Hedgehog. It seems like these tracks were left by someone else. It seems like these tracks. It seems like these tracks. Only Beaver has webs between his fingers. Only Beetle has such little legs. Who left these tracks? Hmm, let's follow them and find out. 
Fennec Fox followed the tracks out to a clearing in the woods and saw Red Fox. Hello, Fox. Can you please tell me if these are your tracks on the path? Hello, Fennec Fox. Didn't you guess right away? When you grow up, you'll have the same tracks. Wow. Fox, can I ask you for some advice? Sure. How can I help you? I wanted to build a house to wait out the winter, but I failed. I piled up rocks with beetle, built a lodge with beaver, and made a nest with bird. But all my houses broke down and I'm left with nothing. Silly little Finnick Fox. You should have looked for me first. I would have quickly taught you. You and I are foxes. And foxes make dens and live underground. It's warm, cozy, and safe in our dens. Let's go to that hill. It's a perfect place to dig a den. Here's the perfect place for the entrance to your den. Start digging with your paws. You need to dig a big den so you can invite a lot of guests. You need to make space. Let's add a... Well done! You've dug a den just like an adult fox. Now it's time to get ready for winter. You'll need a lot of food. The winter will be long. A soft bed of leaves. That's what you need for good rest. Finnick <laughs> Fox, now it's cozy and comfortable in your den. Let's prepare a nice dinner and invite your friends to our housewarming party. No, this food is for someone else. Bird loves sweet Rowan. No, this food is for someone else. Beetle likes to eat green leaves. No, this food is for someone else. Beaver likes to sharpen his teeth with tree bark and sticks. Hedgehog likes ripe apples and mushrooms. Dinner's ready. Now I need to send the invitations to my friends. That's right. Bird made a nest for me on the large tree. That's right. I met Hedgehog on the forest path. That's right. Here is where Beetle and I piled up rocks. That's right. Beaver and I built a lodge near the dam. I've sent invitations to all my friends. It's time to set the table. So that's how our little Fennec Fox built himself a house and found friends who often came to visit him during the winter. They gathered around the large table, drank tea, and listened to how the harsh winter winds sang outside. And, of course, they wondered about what adventures awaited them for next summer. <laughs>